last contestant in the 14 to 15 age group, Lexi Wilson. Please join me in prayer. Dear God, thank you for this opportunity to be here today. Please watch over and guide me throughout this day to be the best I can be. Amen. How did that make you feel? Were you comfortable with me praying here on this stage in front of you? Or did it make you uncomfortable? I have a feeling that most of you were as comfortable as I was with my prayer. I appreciated that the Eagles took the time to pray for me and the other participants before this event. Praying without being judged doesn't always happen in our schools today. Over 50 years ago, the United States Supreme Court found prayer in schools unconstitutional. Unconstitutional, meaning it is not in accordance with our United States Constitution. Yet, the United States Constitution and the Declaration of Independence are both concrete evidence that the founders of this great nation were inspired by a belief in God. The United States Supreme Court building was built in the 1930s. It has engravings of Moses and the Ten Commandments. In every courtroom, a witness is asked to place a hand on the Bible and to take an oath to swear and tell the truth, so help me God. The United States Supreme Court says, schools should be neutral when it comes to prayer in schools. Students should be encouraged to take a moment of silence instead of pray. Within the House and Senate chambers, up here the words in God we trust. It was on my eighth grade field trip to Washington, D.C., where I witnessed the word God exhibited in stone all over the monuments and buildings. The Liberty Bell has a Bible verse engraved on it. During the swearing-in of every United States president, we did not take a moment of silence. We prayed together. Every president that has given an inaugural address has mentioned the word God in that speech. It is said 84% of the world population has faith. Do we really need to take a moment of silence to make that other 16% feel comfortable? I will take that moment. I will take it to make the sign of the cross. I will take it to fold my hands and then I will pray before my lunch at school. I will pray before every quiz and test. And I will pray before my softball and soccer games. Prayer will continue to be in my life wherever and whenever I need it. I feel Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. says it best. To be Christian without prayer is no more possible than to be alive without breathing. Thank you.